guys, I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but I'm gonna back, make a couple more videos while I'm on break from college. It's been really busy, but today we're gonna make a things I hate and things I love about my G35. Everyone loves those type of videos, so let's head there. Okay, yeah, so we came back to this, like, I don't know, little little secret place, and uh, we're going to record a video about things I hate about my car, but just a little disclaimer, I don't really hate my car at all. I love my car, so don't try to roast me in the comments because these are just little things that I'm going to have fun with, and I hope you do too. So let's get into the first thing I hate about my car. Okay, so the first thing here, come with me, come with me. The first thing I hate about my car is the engine. Now, back, back to me, back to me. <laughs> The engine, the reason why I hate the engine, and most people have the same problem, is it makes good power. It's great. It sounds great. Everything sounds great. But it runs on fuel, obviously, but it also runs on oil. And this thing burns tons of oil. So instead of just fueling up, you also are going to have to dump oil into your engine, I don't know, every month or two because it just burns it. Like it literally just burns it with the, the gas. So this thing goes through a lot of oil. Uh, if you stay up on it and maintain it, it's really not a problem, but that's super annoying and you can smell it when you really get on the throttle. <laughs> oh, good shit. Okay. So the next thing that I really don't like about my car, Eric, right, come on, come on, oh. come on. We have built-in weight reduction by Mother Nature. I don't know if you can see this, but we got some nice little rust spots here that comes with the car on this side, on this side. This my favorite part of the car here we go big all right you're gonna have to get down here get a good look at that boy did it get under it a little bit oh, so okay. yeah yeah let's show all the flaws yeah we got some rust going on and <laughs> that's a common problem with the g35s especially i bought this one in wisconsin so it gets salt and this is a very common like panel for it to rest on and one thing that really sucks is if you want to replace it you have to replace all the way from here to here to here so it's a big panel and they cost like at least six hundred dollars, not painted. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of G thirty five rust in those spots, which kind of sucks. But it's an older car; it's two thousand three. So another thing that I really don't care for about this car is the cup holders. Now I don't know what they were thinking at Nissan when they had their uh, team meeting. If they just thought a cup holder delete was a good idea, but let me show you a little reactment of how I get to my cup holder. So you're driving, and you want to put your cup holder away. Oh yeah, they did a couple early. So at this moment, you have to become a contortionist and do one of these numbers to get back to this thing. That's the only cup holder you get is these two little suggestions of a cup holder. This doesn't even hold it that well. Like, come on, Nissan. Oh wait, it's recording oh, now. Oh boy. Okay. All right. So you got the cup holder situation now. Along with the cup holders comes the back seats and uh. Let me just give you a demonstration about the back seats, how they're just suggestions of back seats. They put the back seats in here just so they can mark it on their paper that they had back seats, basically. Let me show you. So if you're anything over 5'10", you're, you're effed. Oh! And we get out, we come, we come in back here easily. This is an easy process. And then you sit back down here, and it's fine if you're 5 feet tall. But if you want to go on a long road trip, you gotta like basically break your neck the whole time and sit like this. Assuming you don't have any leg room either. So basically, back seats don't exist. So, one thing that I really don't like about G's, and it's definitely an engineering flaw, this happens to almost every G35. So, the front seat, good looking seat, but every single one of them that I've seen has this rip. Like, this rip sometimes even goes way farther down. And it's because this little metal piece and this other piece are hinged together. And uh, then just causes it to tear. So that was definitely a terrible design flaw. Good job. Okay. So the aftermarket. Why are you Ooh, staring your, at? Head. <laughs> your head got cut off. <laughs> okay. Oh, I gotta clean up, put shit in the trash. Stop. Good. Oh. There's a choo-choo. 
Logan Paul. What? Fingers up.